everybody and welcome to the very first episode of the Two Hour Circle for Season 3. Um, I'm your host, Ella Schilling, and this morning, after a good rest in Ipswich and going to see Roscoe at Fourth Child Cafe Restaurant, grabbed a cup of coffee, and we are at Allura. Just wait for the car to go past. We're at Allura. So I've been pronouncing it Allura all week, so I just need someone, if you're watching the video, to tell me, is it Allura or is it Allura? Anyway, Keep that in mind, we are at the Mary Poppins house, which is just behind me here. And we'll learn more about that shortly. See you soon. Just one and a half hours from Ipswich is the town of Allera. Allera is the town where author Peel Travers lived with her family and her bank manager father for several years before his death. The character Mr. Banks in her Mary Poppins novel was loosely based on her dad and Mary Poppins on her great aunt. The house wasn't open, unfortunately, on the day we visited, but you can check out our website for more information. We stopped in for a break and a great coffee at the recently opened Wild Sage Cafe. And while talking to the locals, we heard about another author who lived nearby. Of course, we couldn't resist the temptation and travelled the extra 20 minutes to Nobby. Alrighty, so we did Allera. Um, we weren't at Allera for too long. We've got a bit of a tight schedule today, but whilst I was at the Mary Poppins house, a few people said, you've got to come out to Nobby, which was a bit of a detour. I think it was like 21 minutes or something. Um, so if, you, if you're in Ipswich and you're staying in Ipswich, you've got plenty of time to do these things. So um, we're at Rudd's Pub at Nobby. So the claim to fame here is, I don't know how many of you out there remember the Dad and Dave books, which then became a radio show. Well, this is where you'll find the whole story. Now, everything here at Rub's Pub, Rudd's Pub, I should say, is Ridgy Ditch. There's no copies. It's the original stuff. I even got to look at the uh, first edition print, which is all boxed up nicely. Um, there'll be photos of that for you to look at shortly. Um, but it's a shame we don't have time to stop here for lunch because I was just having a look at the menu. It is absolutely fabulous. So if you've got time, come out to Nobby and stop at Rudd's Pub and learn all about the historic Dad and Dave stories. Fantastic. I couldn't wait to come and have a look. Uh, our next stop, well, you'll just have to keep watching to find out, won't you? The author who gave the world Dad and Dave is Arthur Hoey Davis, better known as Steel Rudd. His pseudonym of Steel Rudd came from his nickname Steel Rudder, which he used when writing skits about rowing for the Brisbane Chronicle. Dad and Dave was produced in print, then on radio, and eventually went on to become a television program, in black and white, and finally in colour. It certainly had a long run. The mystery here is why the author was buried in Tawong and not at Nobby. Speculation is that it might have something to do with his not one, but two mistresses. You will definitely want to see this old pub and its collection and stop for a bite to eat while you're at it. We will be coming back for a longer visit next time, but we have to head on to the Maryvale pub where we believe there are some spooky rumors. The 
Marymount pub is 108 years old and it seems the rumours are correct. The owner spoke to us about a few confirmed ghost stories and Dallas even got to have a wander around the very eerie cellar. Keep watching for this in the outtakes. At the owner's request we won't give too many details but he tells me this experience was quite unnerving and not something he'd like to repeat. Dallas tried the pub's very own Maryvale Lager on tap. Well, to be quite honest, he tried it twice and settled in for a feed. Great food, reasonably priced, and the pub is very family friendly. So don't just drive by the sign for 30 years like we did before taking the turn off and enjoying the hospitality and the atmosphere. Well, guys, what an amazing afternoon we have had out in the two hour circle. I'm upstairs in a very, shall we say, what do they say, haunted Maryvale Hotel. A um, little bit of a surprise for us. I knew that there were a few stories around the place. I've just spent 10 minutes or so talking to the owner and she's asked me not to give details of what's spooky. <laughs> wow, what a great way to spend an afternoon. Lunch was amazing. The scenery was amazing. The pub, 108 year old place. Um, we've had an awesome day, we really have. Come out and see the very, see the Maryvale Hotel. Don't do what I do, did. Um, I've been driving past the sign that goes to Maryvale for the last 30 years. And after 30 years, I finally stopped in to say hello. And I'm glad I did. Guys, uh, time to head back to Ipswich for a rest. Um, and please get out there and have some fun and explore the food mystery and apparently the occasional mystery out in what we like to call the two hour circle. Guys, bye for now. See you soon. Bye. So we are at the Maryvale Hotel and apparently this is the cellar which was once the morgue and I've been offered the opportunity to go down and have a look so if I don't come back it's been nice knowing you all. So here I go Dave hang in there. Well, there's no lights down here so Dave can have to follow me with the torch. It's a very tight screen. <laughs> And that was the last time we saw Dallas. And there it is. Total darkness. So this was the old morgue. The old cellar. How very cool. And very cool.